Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Saturday, the 17th of February. Man, it's been, I, I got, I seen the sun come out, and it stopped raining there for a moment, so I decided to come out here, even though it's still a bit windy, the wind has calmed down a little bit as well. But man, it's been just a blustery one today. What's got... Kylie all, what's got you all wound up there, young lady? Huh? Look at you, you've been wallowing around in that mud. But I'm using my, uh, that GoPro setup with the, uh, wind socks that holds my Hero 6. But yeah, look at this, sunshine. What is that? What is that in the sky? What is that, Kai Kai? Huh? Man, has it been windy and just sideways rain all day today. The temperature isn't that bad. I think it's like 50 degrees out here. It feels absolutely wonderful, actually. I apologize. I lost a bunch of audio here. I forgot that I can't use the quick record feature when I have an auxiliary mic hooked up to my Hero 6. So I lost some footage here. <laughs> So I thought I'd come out here because it's all nasty and uh, try to go through some of this BRP connect as quick as I can. Um, first off, here's your joystick. So push in is home or enter and then you have, you know, just a typical joystick. Now instead of push to talk on the back, you'll see that there's a little phone icon. So this used to be the push to talk for a CB radio. Now this is dedicated to the uh, phone app. So we'll boot her up, let her wake up here. And just like before, you get the little message. Oh yeah, you get the message. And like before, you gotta hit the mode button once to make that message go away. It's essentially telling you that, you know, this bike handles different than a motorcycle and you know read your safety card and stuff like that so they all have it and just like uh, 17 and newer as soon as you turn the key on you don't have to wait for a message before you can start it turn the key on hit the mode button once and she boots right up so anyway um, to connect I've got the hood open already and I have a short um, little it's a Belkin USB cord and it's just plugged into the USB port. So you have to have the bike powered up, phone unlocked. Anyway, other than that, um, you just plug the phone in. And uh, I can't do this too, you know, one-handed. So let me just plug the phone in, and I'll just set it to the side here right quick. Okay, now that the phone is connected, you'll see, you can tell it's connected for one to uh, BRP Connect because now it goes into a mode where you can't mess with the phone. The only drawback I'm finding is when you stop like for gas or whatever, you most likely, <laughs> I, I'm a goofball and carry two phones, so I just would leave whatever phone up here. But, you know, most likely you're going to, you know, pull your phone out for whatever reason, you know, go and have, you know, get a bottle of water, whatever you're stopping for. But anyway... The phone, when the bike powers down, the phone disconnects and locks itself. The phone has to be unlocked before it'll connect. And in this mode, I no longer have access to the phone. But it doesn't matter because all this stuff is available up top here. So uh, what I'll show you here, and I'll just be using, I'll just say the home button or, or the phone button, which is this button here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit the phone button one time. And it brings up the apps that are on my phone. I'm toggling the joystick uh, right. Now I'm toggling left. Like say I want um, Genius Maps to open up. So anyway, you push the center of the joystick. And it opens up the GPS map. 
And I'm sure with this phone you're not seeing it correctly, whatever, but you can see the GPS is using this entire right hand uh, screen. So that's genius maps. The one thing I need to add is the day I took this thing home, it forced me to purchase a 40, I think it was 44.95, so it was it forced me to purchase a $45 app. And it's an app that allows it to work with automobiles, cars, you know, I mean, you know, cars, motorcycles, whatever. So I just, I was in a hurry. I just, I bought the app and, and went on. I don't know if that's mandatory or what. Because I had purchased the pro version of this. And I, I don't know if that's what forced me to do it or not. I have no idea. So for Genius Maps, uh, it looks like you probably will have to purchase something. But anyway, so if I push and hold the home button it will kick me out and this is just basically a generic map screen and the way I understand it is just using the map your default map app out of your uh, out of your phone and uh, for whatever reason this is not showing me this is nowhere near where, <laughs> where I live so I'll, I'll leave that one but uh, with the joystick uh, stick you can navigate around like if I hit that it's going to show where I'm at and uh, you got settings up here, so standard, satellite, hybrid, whatever you want to do. But anyway, hit the home button again, push and hold. Um, AccuWeather, I haven't played with this, I don't even know what it's going to show. So there's alert for the storm, that's definitely showing up. And because I have little to no service in my shop here. Oh, there we go. Rain starting in 29 minutes. Um, I don't see how to get... I'm sure there's a menu or something in here because I know you can see forecast and whatnot as well. And the other thing I haven't messed with is music. What does that pull up? If it starts playing something, I can't. All right, so looks like I can just switch through and and uh, select what I want from my phone. All right. So anyway, that and then if I click that phone app button again it'll switch me back to the normal screen um, stuff inside the screen let's just kick over once and go into into settings um, hit the home button and you can see launch starts trip that's the trip meter there's my phone I haven't paired my headset with it yet and this is, uh, you know, I told you guys about trips and stuff. This thing is much simpler. It looked pretty complicated, but uh, it just cycles through different trip modes that you have and the totals. And then uh, kick back to home to get back out. And there's music, you know, all the different configurations for your audio not ready. This may take a few minutes. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that. But anyway, uh, um, there's all your different music auxiliary if you're plugging into auxiliary plug Bluetooth if you Bluetooth you know your regular radio and your configuration obviously that's not set then bike settings you know there's your your clock Bluetooth which my phone is you'll see my phone is set up in here there's Sean's iPhone X and then uh, there's the different um, rider and passenger helmets I can hook up the display, different brightness, units, language, about, fault codes. If there's any fault codes showing on the bike, um, it would list the fault codes over there. So no more control alt delete like the old spiders. And even worse for the <laughs> for like the GSs, those were really weird to get into. But here's your uh, your fuel amount over here, your engine temperature, and then of course all the the um, well they're most commonly referred to as the idiot lights including uh, turn signals I just hit the flasher button anything that goes wrong uh, you get soft warnings or hard warnings depending on what what's going on and you'll see that uh, there's the battery status of my phone and oddly enough it's showing I have two bars of service out here so that they're, I'm picking up something and then the very easy to read uh, temperature and time cool stuff huh that thing's really really neat 
The only drawback is booting the bike down and leaving the phone in. The phone powers down and locks. So you got to unlock the phone, whether you're using Face ID, Touch ID, passcode, however you get into your phone. Uh, so I don't know. I, I could use another phone and just not lock it. You know, I could do that. But uh, anyway, cool stuff. And that, that GPS just works so well. It's very clear. Um, I initially had it in 3D mode, and I'm finding that uh, I just use a generic map. I'm finding that the uh, the 2D mode just fits better in here. It's easier to read for me, and that camera is not showing the detail of that very well at all. I apologize for that. Anyway, nothing to. Oh, I did that again. Nothing to it. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Works very well. Oh man, it's so nice. But just have everything right at the tip of your fingers. So, anyway, there we are. A quick little tutorial of uh, BRP Connect. Cool beans, huh? <laughs> Here's my little setup. That's what I was walking around outside until the rains came again, which I'm seeing sunshine out there now. This is the first Sony RX. Um, RX100 Mark V, the one that we thought was lost. She's not lost. <laughs> I use it every once in a while. And a, a Manfrotto tripod that folds up into a handle. I was afraid it might slip off of there, so I used a little tape. But uh, anyway, no, uh, no grand goodbye like the entrance in it. It just boots down. But you see the, the bike is still powered up. When it boots down, the trunk light will go out, and you'll see my phone. Give it a second. Come on, baby. Boot all the way down. I think it takes like 20 seconds, so this may be... Oh, there we go. And you'll see my phone here in a minute. There we are. So now, whatever amount of time it takes for your phone to time out, if I boot the bike back up... It doesn't doesn't boot my phone back up. The phone is locked. See, it's in a locked mode until I look at it or put a uh, put a face code in there. As soon as I unlock it, it uh, you know everything works again. Oh, and this is the app, by the way. And as you add things, and you can arrange them. The app is straightforward. But uh, cool stuff. All right. You know something I didn't notice at first? See the LED lights up front? They're blacked out as well. I don't know how I didn't notice that. I asked, actually noticed it when I was doing a, a shot in the garage here a few days ago. Talking about this thing. I don't know if I was coming back from work, leaving for work. And I noticed in the footage that that thing was blacked out. And I go, hey! I didn't realize the LED was blacked out as well. You guys probably all seen that. <laughs> Hey, it was actually saying it was connected. Oh, I had it unlocked. I'm sorry. All right. Hello there, YouTube. And the winds have mostly died down. It was supposed to end it like 8 p.m. or something it's like 7 30 7 40 somewhere in there let's mellowed out temperatures are starting to drop i think it's made it down to like 43 or something it was surprisingly warm yeah for yeah. all that wind and everything walking around out there today that's crazy that was great yeah just a very <laughs> that one of those crazy relaxing days oh i know now, i watched videos researched a bunch of stuff and was generally unproductive today. I know the only thing I got done was doing some dishes. Yeah. That was my production. I got That's it. Yeah. <laughs> got yesterday's video done early. Got a little over eight hours sleep last night. That was good for so, you. So man, that was wild. What a day. What a relaxing day. Just a, one of those crazy chill days. You didn't feel guilty for not doing something. I know it. It was very nice. Yeah. Even Kelly and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos together today which we hardly ever do that yeah that was good you know we we'll watch tv or whatever programs but hardly ever she'll watch something on her phone i'll watch something 
you know, on the like in the TV in the bedroom or something like that, or my laptop or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, it's a chill day. It's a lot of fun. So we'll see what the night brings. They're saying something what three a.m. or something was yeah. when the snow's supposed to start. Yeah, the ah. wind had to cool. Yeah. They're saying only, you know, at the most we might see three or four inches, yeah. but it could be an inch, or it could be less than an inch. It's or know, it could be nothing. Yeah, you it's never one know. of those unpredictable things. So yeah, we'll just wait and have to see what yeah. it does. So hope you like the little quick. I tried to make it quick. Little info thing on the BRP Connect. That's what that's what I know as of yet. As you know, I've only ridden the Spider once, so I haven't had a lot of time to, to interact with it to see, you know, what little quirks and fun and cool things or whatever. So just take time. And uh, with snow coming, that's uh, taking Spider rides a little farther away. Yeah. I rode one years ago in the snow. You know, I still get comments on that video almost every single day. In the parking lot? Yeah, that's yeah. like four years old or something. It's crazy. That's a long time ago. That's nuts. But uh, anyway, we'll make this short and short and sweet tonight. All right. Uh, and they're trying to do some updates on my laptop on different things. So uh, anyway, I'm in the, in the middle of a project at the moment. <laughs> but it's getting late and getting colder. And I thought, well, let's do a quick little boot and bye. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. Maybe we'll go play out in the snow if we get any any amount of it. Oh yeah. The girls will have fun. Oh yeah. seen snow, so. Oh yeah, that's right. Girls haven't seen snow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hope for snow. It'll just be fun, you know. Yeah. End off, you know, winter with, with, some, with some good snow. We only had one snow event so far. Yeah. So, it was just a little. So. Yeah. All right. All right, ready? I'm ready. All right. All right. See you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Thanks now. Bye-bye.